Hey guys, Clumsy here. Welcome back to PC Building Simulator Let's Play series. We're starting off where we left off from the previous episode where we kind of had some mishaps because I kind of missed um, admitting some of the PCs. So you can see some of the emails here we have still in transit. Um, I have the parts for them already but we have to wait for them to arrive tomorrow. So in the meantime, let's go and work on the PCs that we have with us already. These two guys, Leonard and David. David is my favorite guy because he's a fan of Flight Simulator and he wants his PC to run it in recommended specs. So we'll uh, work on that in a bit. But for now, I need to finish my shopping list first. And this guy, this is my guy too because I also like Farm Sim. Leonard Doyle needs to play Farm Sim 17 with minimum specs. Now we don't know yet what he needs. So we'll have to first power up his PC and let's go ahead and install the Will It Run software. Oh, very nice wallpaper. And install the Will It Run here so that we can gauge what we need to change, what we need to buy in terms of parts. How much does he have in terms of budget? Only 60, okay. No judgment, no judgment. If that's your budget, that's your budget. So this guy is Leonard and he has a budget of 60. Uh, let's just look that here. These cloud nodes are really such an essential part of this game. Yes. So we have that here. And um, let's have a quick look what his specs are. Well, any guesses which one we'll need to update? I'm guessing RAM. 2 gigs, that's why the budget is so low. Could be. We'll see. Minimum specs for Farm Sim. Farm Sim 17. Minimum spec indeed. Did I nail it or did I nail it? <laughs> Alright, looking good there. Okay, so let's power that off. We know now what he needs. Let's go ahead and look for that same piece of RAM. He does currently have a Mortoni 2 gig 2133. So we'll just buy the exact same thing. Yeah, because he needs 4 gigs. So let's go ahead and say memory Mortoni 2133. That's the guy. We can actually get him two. Hmm, not really. Now let's just buy one like this. There you go. So that should be enough already. Yes. And uh, that one, this means just buy 2 gig so that I don't forget which part is for him times one there you go so with that we have the parts that we need and uh, we do have four yeah four other emails in here but i don't think i want to have so many pending pcs it's going to get very confusing so we'll uh, settle with these guys first and i think with that we can continue with our order so we have actually in our cart we have a GPU, a GTX 980 Gamer XL for one of our customers. I think this is actually the one for the flight simmer. And then we have the Mortoni Value Supreme, 2 gigs. Okay, so we can buy that and I don't have any more money. So that's a good, that's a good way. That's a good indicator that we should stop buying from the shop. Let's wait for that to come in. So we are currently on Jan 12 here, uh, Jan 15, we'll get some deliveries and we'll get some PCs and we will start from there. Wish me luck, but in the meantime, happy weekend guys, catch you on Monday. There we go. Good morning. Go to work. Good morning everyone. Let's get this rolling first. Unbox. All right, we have the RAM, we have the GPU. It's time to power it up and work on stuff. Now, of course, I'm biased, as might be indicative with my wallpaper there. We'll go first and fix the flight sim guy. Now, before anything else, let's make sure that we're not missing anything. Let me see if I missed some requirements. Yeah, I know I missed some requirements. So with the farm sim guy, Leonard here. So we're buying for him RAM, but in addition, it is urgent 
and the deadline is on Jan 23, which is pretty far away from now. It's not really urgent. And then he wanted plastic white cables. Yeah. And then he wants new parts only. So I think we have everything we need there, but just the, the new parts of the plastic white cables is an additional um, requirement. This one though, flight sim. This is my, <laughs> my favorite guy, right? So all new parts as well. We have a GTX 980 for him that arrived already. He needs plastic white cables. Okay, so I have to re-cable all his stuff. Although it does look like white already, but yeah, to be on the safe side. All right. Let's make sure that we get all the requirements for him in there. Good. All right. Let's see. Cables. Let's see. I do have plastic white cables. Loose. Sleeved. Uh, doesn't really that matter that much, but plastic white sleeve. Let's go with that. It sounds more premium. Let's go ahead and remove this cowling. Let me see. Can I somehow remove that thing? Maybe not, huh? Okay, let, I'll just remove all the cables. Very shiny white cables in here. And I try to remove all of this even though they look white already because I've had instances before where I was not sure if it was a game bug or I think it's more likely that I missed some cables. So now I've learned from that and I'm removing all the cables literally and I am going to reseat them with plastic white cables to be extra extra sure. Okay, that looks good already. Alright, so let's go and remove this PCI lock so we can replace his GPU. There you go. Let's go and remove that. He has a GTX 1050 Ti at the moment. Not a bad GPU, <clears throat> but for a flight simulator, as some of you guys might know, nowhere near enough. Because even a current 3080 or 3090 can be pushed by the flight simulator. Okay, which one is that? The Sheen is the one for him. There you go. Lock that in. Now, it's not really, doesn't really look that good, does it? But then again, the important thing is if it can play with the acceptable frame rates that he's uh, expecting for flight sim. Let's connect the fans. There we go. The plastic cables are starting to come up. Connect that to the PSU. Connect the hard drive as well to the SATA port here. And this guy to the PSU right there. There we go. Not sure I'm a huge fan of these white cables, but this is what the customer wants. So uh, we will give him exactly what he asked for. All right. Am I missing anything? Yes. The SSD we also need to power up. Let's connect that there and then connect it to the motherboard so that the data can be pushed through. Looking good. Okay, I don't think I'm missing anything else. Let's go ahead and power that up. Let's go ahead and uh, bring back the covers. The PCI lock. There we go. That looks happy. I don't think this is re a real flight sim guy. He doesn't have a plane for his wallpaper. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no judgments, no judgments. Uh, now, which one is our guy? Okay, let's connect that. Looking good. At this point in the game, we don't need any kind of 3D mark yet. But we will get there for sure. Actually, in some cases, we had that already in the previous episode, right? But yeah, in this current, in this particular one, it's not really that requires so let's put that here on the other side let me double check that i didn't miss anything here for david uh, i'm going to say okay all right let's work let's work on the flight the farm sim guy i think this is that one okay farm sim guy here needs uh, leonard that's leonard we're going to install ram plastic white cables as well new parts and it's urgent okay yes I, i'm okay with that all right, so let's go ahead and do the same thing. Pretty interesting looking cooler he has there. Let's see what he has once we get into that, but let's open it up first. I think even the casing is exactly the same, isn't it? Interesting. All right, good to go. Let's remove all the cables, 
replace them all with plastic white to be extra extra sure looking good if only it was this easy to remove cable saw in real life yikes and as i say that i misclick something clumsy hands clumsy me okay looking good oh this will really improve his performance getting that dual dim kind of thing going so if you guys are buying memory make sure to always buy two slots because it's much faster and seated that way alternating most of the things can do that um now i'm not sure why that hasn't ticked on yet did i miss something again guys oh i really hope not all right but uh, let's connect that to the psu i hope i didn't miss something but we will see soon enough connect that to the sata this guy to the power supply this guy motherboard to the psu the fan to the motherboard fan to the motherboard and the buttons here and the lights to the motherboard as well looking good let's power it up there we go okay just must be seeing some of the cables but now it looks good as well awesome all right let's bring back the casing we have some happy simmers here simmers are my kind of guys if you guys know me i am uh, almost exclusively playing simulators these days case in point pc building sim <clears throat> awesome stuff all right <clears throat> let's see if i missed anything plastic white new parts urgent yeah looking good happy bunny right there all right next up pc can boot upgrade gpu hmm well let's take this guy jay bront Jay Bront, we have him listed here. Intel 400 budget. Oh crap, urgent. Okay, I might have missed that. Oh yeah, because I forgot to click his PC a while ago. Yeah, hopefully it's not that urgent enough that we that it needs a day. That we missed a day. Just one day. Working day at least. But yes, hopefully that won't be a problem. Okay, everyone has white cables these days. Is that a trend? It's cryo rig. Oh, that's uh, the same brand as my cooler. All right, let's see. What is your CPU? I seven sixty seven hundred K. Oh yeah, this is the interesting thing. So that's pretty cool. There's a tooltip. CPU is the brain of the PC. Does that have happen for all the parts? Interesting additional context there in case you're not familiar with it pretty cool all right so we'll be giving him a 6700k a very incremental upgrade but that's what he wants so that's what we'll give him but don't forget well put in the chip first there but and don't forget the thermal paste we don't want unhappy customers with overheating problems and whatnot okay looking good uh, close that shield lock it in and let's bring back his cooler here very nice choice for a cooler that's the right orientation so that the intake the fan the air goes through here cools down those metal fins and then goes out this way out the case problem with heating solved very smart people who designed these okay good all right let's see cpu has been upgraded if it will boot then it's good enough there you go and that's done deal yo if it's urgent enough that we delivered it for him we will see right let me just double check because the cpu was 250 his budget was 400 okay no problem there all right and then the last guy is d melville which needs an upgrade oh finally a different case very sleek at that this is a an Antec case. Very nice. I like it. Also very easy to open. These are the, the, the kinds that you just need like a coin, I think, to turn them. No need for a screwdriver. Very cool. Now what does he have? I think he has some secret uh, requirements in there. Yeah. We noted down antivirus or clean PC. Because if you look at this email, 
it says uh, it's urgent right and it and runs a bit slow too and that one i'm not sure what this indicative with it doesn't look dirty so i think it needs a proper uh, antivirus uh, filtering so we'll run that for him in a bit but first let's go and prioritize that guy let's go and oh well, we have so many used gpus now we can use that for our other customers with limited budgets so we'll keep them yeah let's give him a 980 um now that doesn't work because we have ah look at that so his previous gpu that's what, how you measure it you hear some people saying oh this gpu is one slot two slots so that's basically how thick they are counting the pci slots that they take so the previous gpu this guy had with one slot so it only needed one opening but this new one requires two slots so we have to remove this case here and uh, put that in there and now it fits perfect but in addition we also need to open this guy up because we need to attach power supply cables in here oh he has a non-modular one okay no problem there you go so that gpu requires additional power it's more beefy so it needs a bit more oomph in there all right looking good let's power it up click on that there you go fans are moving that's always a good sign doesn't have the best memory placement in there as i told you guys dual uh, memory option is a lot better in i think all cases so having two 8 gigs is better than having one 16 gig no matter how uh, unintuitive that may seem in the beginning all right there you go oh we missed something i almost missed something the antivirus there you go let's go and install the antivirus well that's installing let's take a quick look yeah it doesn't seem dirty oh i'm missing something yeah this is why it's important to review okay one second let's try multitask here restart well that's booting up let's go ahead and remove this guy These guys have the fastest boot times, don't they? There you go. Bring that back in. Protect the GPU and the casing as a whole. Don't leave any open areas in there that might be prone for dust accumulating. <laughs> there you go. Wire scanner. Let's remove those stuff. There we go. Oh my goodness. 469 infected files. Now his PC is looking very crisp. Awesome stuff. Having fun with this, guys. Hope you are as well. Guys, get ready to get paid? Sure am. So let's do this. All right, CPU guy. Cha-ching, five stars. All right, looking good. Perfect in there. Nothing missed. Okay, discard. Next up is GPU guy. Cha-ching okay 542 five stars again oh we're on our way to three star rating guys oh, oh very nice very nice okay okay farm sim guy hope we didn't miss anything for you yes also five stars and you look at that okay perfect we're now level four as well nice i wonder what new parts we unlocked things are happening guys and my favorite guy i hope i didn't disappoint you Oh, yes, I am sure you are happy now. And they gave me lovely new plastic white cables as requested just for you, my favorite guy. <laughs> How biased can I be? No, but we're good. So we're now three-star ranking all the different parts. Oh, my goodness. And uh, let's have a quick look at what new parts we have. We have a GTX 970 Gaming 100ME. We have a 970 Gaming 4G Golden Edition. We have an R9380 Radeon Gaming 2G. And now, because we have le reached level 4, Quick Screw Tool. Hey, that seems tempting. 
and looks like we have new stuff as well. Uh, cooler master. These are power supply units, I believe. Nice. Level 5 unlocks cable lake motherboards, color cables, peripheral shops. That's going to be a big thing. We can buy mouse, mice, and keyboards for ourselves. I'm not sure if customers would look for that specifically though, but I think it's mainly for us. Okay. Good. That is awesome. Alright. I think we'll leave it there. I think we'll leave it on a great note. Finishing four PCs like a pro. Wow. Next episode, guys. We'll start fresh. Tabula rasa. Let's remove the notes here. Yeah, clean slate. So next episode, we'll work on uh, finding new PCs to fix and upgrade, all right? But let's leave it there for now. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. This is Clumsy signing off and catch you in the next episode. Ooh, getting excited. See you guys. Catch you soon. Bye-bye.